In this episode, we are going to Norway, uh, visiting our biggest customer, uh, Cyber Experis, that has a customer called Go Ahead Nordics. As you understand, we are on a train in Ukraine. They may be looking a little bit different, but uh, we thought it was a perfect timing to actually film this, because um, what the project is, is about trains. Go Ahead Nordic is a British company that is uh, operating trains and buses in uh, Great Britain and is now entering the Nordic market. They won a big tender uh, from the government to take over the operation of the Norwegian trains. Go Ahead Nordics is the first private train operator in Norway. We've been working with Cyber Experience on this project uh, since May uh, in a blended model where we have both developers from Ukraine and uh, Cyber Experience. The solution on its own is a solution that is monitoring the trains in real time. It's for the train operators in Go Ahead that will watch on some TVs and boards uh, where the trains are in the station, where it's moving in, in, in real time, so they can handle if it's happening some deviations. So it's a very important system to keep uh, the trains uh, to be running on time and handle any kind of surprises that might uh, affect them. So we're going there to celebrate the successful launch. We met the deadline and we delivered the first version to look at the system, to learn about the train, to check out uh, how it works in real time. So the developers actually get to experience of their own. They get to touch and feel, they get to see how everything works and compare, I guess, how it works here in Ukraine with the train systems and, uh, and see what's different. And uh, I think it will be an amazing time. So with that, let's go to Oslo. Are you excited about the trip? Uh, I'm excited about the snacks I'll get there. <laughs> What's the weather like? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are boarding on our next flight to Oslo. Awesome. <laughs> Привет! 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 We lost these foxers. They were so lucky to meet that finally they got lost. It's already third train coming and the guys are still not here. So we have the news. Our developers kind of sneaked away. They like, took another train while we were buying our cheated. tickets. They, they cheated. They, they grabbed the goods and just went away. I don't know what they should do to get us to forgive them. The trains are now successfully operating in Norway. On the first day of our business trip, we were pleased to have a kickoff meeting with the project team and developers in the office of Go Ahead Nordic. This time it took place at the Central Railway Station in Oslo. We are very excited to be in the office of Go Ahead um, and to see and celebrate the success um, to which the developers contributed to. The meeting started with a friendly intro session where each of us presented ourselves according to Heidi's plan, our hobbies, fun facts, family and dreams. This blog was followed by a retrospective of the work done by now, lessons learned and future perspectives. Each of the team members was actively involved in the discussion of further project development. Oslo Central Station and uh, now Peter is uh, giving some info about uh, what you can see on the screen and uh, which signs mean what. Today we are going to their depot to see all the trains hub together. There was a special train for our project team to have at our disposal. See how the system works in real and talk to the people who have a direct relation to the railway operations. The locomotive was all ours. And of course we inspected each cart with its sleeping compartments, kids rooms, cafe spaces and sitting cabins. We traveled to Lodalen, which is in the Oslo outskirts, and on the way had interesting talks with Ragnar and Yen. 
So how does it feel to see the results of your of your work in real life? It's really interesting because you know, certainly you start to look at trains a, di a different way. Earlier when I was a passenger I just got on the train and got away. Now you're looking at the numbers and the, how they look and how they how they operate in a much more detailed way, right? We also see that uh, not everything is going as planned because we have seen four passengers on, on this train, they should really have left. So we see that they have, how they handle exceptional situations. That's very interesting. Smile. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Railway depot. Going to see other type of uh, train. Denise, as a tech lead, just needed to have an especially close look at them. And Natalie didn't lose a chance to entertain. I want to go in a different direction. Please turn around. <laughs> I am a service man. Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, how does it feel now to see it all you know, working? Well, it is already my uh, and very great experience to have this project and have this passion and have all those uh, team members that also have the same passion is to make that we feel like we are a great family and we are able to deliver that is needed. Uh, how useful do you think such trips for the developers? They have a great uh, beneficial effect, so see how things work and have get the interest of thoughts why we are creating this application. The exciting day could not have a trivial ending, so we continued it with a game of darts in a cozy downtown restaurant. So, Christy, yeah. how was your day today? Uh, amazing, especially especially after 8 a.m. since we left home. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, what was the highlight of the day? Highlights? Uh, go to the customs. Did you get some things on the phone? Uh, hopefully. Uh, this is for you. Thank the pure Malbec? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And your day, how, how has it been? Very, very good. Very insightful, uh, very cool to be back here in Moscow. Especially when I worked uh, together with the Cyprus with the customer. So it's good to see the results and it's good to see the good cooperation. As every business trip, this one has ended. And we want to say thank you Cyber and thank you Go Ahead Nordic for having us for the last week of January. Pleased to work together with you. Subscribe to our channel and learn more about outsourcing from Ukraine with us.